Some states where nearly 20% of the population rely on food stamps to get by, to states with rapidly increasing violent crime. Today on Across the Globe, we're going to be taking a look at the states that are going downhill in 2023 and 2024. Number 6. California This may come as a surprise to many, but California has been struggling in a number of ways. California is a state located in the western region of the United States. With famous landmarks like the Golden Gate Bridge, the state has an idyllic reputation as a hub of culture, industry, and stunning natural attractions. With Hollywood being a monumental attraction, it's clear California has an image of prosperity and success. However, hidden below the charm of luxury, this state is struggling with many hurdles. The vast income inequality and extreme poverty leave many residents struggling day to day, unable to attain the good life supposedly promised by the land of opportunities. In September 2021, Medium called California the fastest dying state in the USA, listing population loss and an insane cost of living as two of the main reasons for this. To add to that, Axios reported that between 2020 and 2022, San Francisco lost a massive 7.1% of its population. So with the cost of living clearly being a major problem in California, let's take a look at the poverty rates. In September 2023, Cal Matters reported that based on economic data from the Census Bureau, California retained its title of having the highest level of poverty of any state. Cal Matters also noted that in 2021, more than a quarter of Californians were living in poverty or near poverty. Furthermore, according to the Public Policy Institute of California, poverty in California has continued to increase since 2021. They reported that between the fall of 2021 and the first quarter of 2023, poverty rose from 11.7% to 13.2%. In May 2023, Pods reported that one of the key reasons people are leaving California is because of the poverty problem caused primarily by the higher cost of living. To that, VOA News reported that between 2020 and 2022, many Californians moved to Florida to reap the rewards of the climate and lower cost of living that the state offers. Of course, many people are sticking around, but a large portion of the state's population are concerned about the increase in crime and crumbling infrastructure, two problems that go hand in hand in the steady decline of California. In fact, in October 2023, Safe and Sound Security reported that with a 6.1% increase in violent crimes reported and a 6.2% increase in property-related crimes between 2021 and 2023, California has the 17th highest violent crime rate in the country. Number 5. Alabama The state of Alabama, located in the southeastern region of the United States, has an opulent yet complex history. The state played a significant role in the civil rights movement of the 1960s and was a central battleground for integration and desegregation efforts. Alabama's cotton and agricultural industries have also contributed to its economic growth and development over the years. However, recent years have seen a decline in the state's economic prosperity, and poverty has become an issue, particularly in rural areas. According to U.S. News, by the end of 2022, 15.4% of Alabama's population were relying on food stamps or SNAP to survive. This is largely down to the growing problem with poverty in the state. According to Wise Voter, Alabama has a median household income of $56,929 against the national average of $71,538. It also has a minimum hourly wage of $7.25, which is $2.68 lower than the national average hourly wage of $9.93. This gives Alabama a poverty rate of 14.9%, which is 3.2% higher than the national average of 11.7%. Furthermore, crime in Alabama has been increasing at a worrying level over the last few years. In July 2023, Yahoo Finance ranked Alabama at number 13 on their 25 most dangerous states in the USA list. According to Neighborhood Scout, 
there are 160,344 crimes annually in Alabama. With that, residents face a 1 in 168 chance of becoming the victim of a violent crime and a 1 in 39 chance of becoming the victim of a property crime. It is also worth mentioning that, as reported by AL, one of Alabama's major cities, Birmingham, gained the nickname Magic City during the early 1900s thanks to its rapid population growth and booming steel industry. However, in recent years, a failed attempt to annex large sections of Jefferson County as part of the One Great City campaign has led to a decline in the city's population for the first time in over a century. Number 4. Arkansas Arkansas, located in the southern region of the United States, has a rich history dating back to Native American tribes and the arrival of Europeans in the 16th century. The state played a significant role in the Civil War, with its capital, Little Rock, becoming a major battleground. In recent years, however, the state has struggled with a host of problems and is currently one of the fastest dying states in the U.S., with a declining population due to outmigration and a decreasing birth rate. In fact, according to Axios, the birth rate in Arkansas fell nearly 20% between 2007 and 2022. Additionally, the state also suffers with high poverty rates. According to Wise Voter, Arkansas has the fifth worst poverty rate in the U.S., with a poverty rate of 15.2% which is 3.5% higher than the national average, and a median household income of $50,784, which is $20,574 lower than the national average. With such a problem with poverty, it is inevitable that the state will also have problems with crime. In 2023, CNBC ranked Arkansas at number 9 on their 10 worst states to live and work in list. They stated that according to FBI statistics, Arkansas has one of the worst rates of violent crime in the nation, and noted that few states have suffered as much from the blight of illegal drugs as Arkansas. CNBC also noted that healthcare is another major problem in Arkansas with just 42 dentists for every 100,000 residents. Number 3. Oklahoma Oklahoma, located in the south-central region of the United States, is known for its rich Native American history, Dust Bowl era, and notorious tornadoes. The state has a diverse geography, ranging from the rolling hills of the Ozark Mountains to the flat plains of the western panhandle. Despite its storied history and unique culture, Oklahoma has faced a steady decline in recent years, with the economy heavily reliant on a struggling oil and gas industry. Additionally, Oklahoma continually ranks as one of the highest poverty-stricken states. Based on data compiled by Wise Voter, Oklahoma is the ninth worst state for poverty in the U.S. It has an overall poverty rate of 14.3%, which is 2.6% higher than the national average, and a median household income of $60,096 which is $11,442 lower than the national average. In 2023, U.S. News reported that Oklahoma was the fourth highest state for participation in food stamps, also known as SNAP, with a staggering 17.2% of the state's population needing to take advantage of the program. Furthermore, in July 2023, CNBC ranked Oklahoma at number two on their 10 worst states to live and work in list. They stated that Oklahoma's overall health is not good, which is largely down to the state having one of the highest rates of drug misuse in the country. As with many states that experience such problems with drugs, crime will inevitably be high as well. According to Neighborhood Scout, there are 121,312 crimes annually in Oklahoma. Residents face a 1 in 226 chance of becoming the victim of a violent crime and a 1 in 38 chance of falling victim to a property crime. Number 2. Louisiana Louisiana, located in the southern part of the United States, is known for its vibrant culture, rich history, and unique cuisine. From the early Native American tribes to the French and Spanish colonizers, Louisiana has a diverse and multi-layered past. 
the state has also played a significant role in the American Civil War and the Civil Rights Movement. However, despite the state's cultural richness, it is commonly known as one of the poorest states in America, with high poverty rates and slow economic growth. According to Wise Voter, Louisiana is the second worst state in the U.S. in regard to poverty. The state has a poverty rating of 17.8%, 6.1% higher than the national average, and a median household income of $57,206, $14,332 lower than the national average. Furthermore, the state has a minimum hourly wage of $7.25 against the national average of $9.93. Also in 2023, U.S. News reported that Louisiana was the second highest state for participation in SNAP, with a whopping 19.5% of the state's population having to take advantage of the program due to lack of income. Furthermore, in July 2023, CNBC ranked Louisiana at number three on their 10 worst states to live and work in list. They noted that one of the state's major issues is its lack of licensed childcare facilities, stating that there isn't a state that performs worse in this increasingly essential quality of life indicator than Louisiana. With only 76 licensed childcare facilities in a population of 4.6 million, CNBC also listed reproductive rights and crime as weaknesses for Louisiana. According to Wise Voter, as of 2023, Louisiana has the highest homicide rate in the United States, with 22.9 homicides per 100,000 residents. In terms of homicide rates, this places Louisiana significantly above other states and more than twice the national average. Furthermore, in September 2023, the Southwest Journal stated that Louisiana has always had a darker side and has seen a recent rise in overall crime. According to Neighborhood Scout, the chances of becoming a victim of a violent crime in Louisiana is 1 in 147, and the chances of a property crime are 1 in 37. Number 1. Mississippi Mississippi is a state steeped in a diverse history. Situated in the southern United States, Mississippi was home to Native American tribes before being colonized by the French and subsequently the British. Mississippi is also home to a varied landscape, including the fertile Delta region and the rolling hills of the Northeast. Despite its rich history and natural beauty, Mississippi has struggled with many economic and social problems, which have led to a significant decline in population in recent years. At the beginning of 2023, Clarion Ledger called Jackson, which is the capital city in Mississippi, the fastest shrinking city in America noting that it is declining at an alarming rate. According to Empower, Mississippi lost 4,246 residents between July 2020 and July 2021. Another major problem in Mississippi is poverty. The state is often regarded as one of the poorest states in the U.S. Factors such as unemployment, low wages, lack of access to education, and limited job opportunities contribute to the state's persistent poverty problem. In 2023, Wise Voter ranked Mississippi as the most poverty-stricken state, with a poverty rate of 18.7%, which is 7% higher than the national average, and a median household income of $46,637, which is $24,901 lower than the national average. What's more, the state has a minimum hourly wage of $7.25 against the national average of $9.93. Furthermore, Mississippi is also prone to natural disasters. The state was one of the worst states hit by Hurricane Katrina in 2005 due to a variety of factors. The hurricane caused severe damage to the state's coastline, destroying homes and businesses along the way. The storm surge was especially devastating with water levels reaching over 28 feet in some areas. With Mississippi being largely a low-lying state, it has also experienced severe flooding over the years outside of the Hurricane Katrina devastation, which has only caused more damage to its infrastructure. According to Sea Level Rise, 
the sea level around Mississippi is up to seven inches higher than it was in 1978. This means there will inevitably be more floods in the years to come. These floods have impacted roads, bridges, and other transport infrastructure, disrupting transportation and causing economic loss. More importantly, the floodwaters have also damaged public utilities like water supply and drainage systems and sewer and electrical lines. The damage to these critical infrastructures has resulted in numerous repairs and reconstruction efforts, which has drained resources away from other essential services. The historic floods of 2019, which were among the worst in the state's history, caused millions of dollars in damage and destroyed or damaged critical infrastructure, including nearly 500 miles of mostly rural roads and 83 bridges. According to sea level rise, the state has not seen the last of such conditions either, as sea levels around Mississippi are rising as much as one inch every two years. If that wasn't bad enough, Mississippi also has a growing problem with crime. According to Travel Safe Abroad, the capital city of Jackson reported 130 homicides in 2022, accounting for 50% of the state's homicides. They noted that the chances of being a victim of violent crime in Mississippi is 1 in 394 and property crime is 1 in 56. What about the cities with the highest rate of people on food stamps? 